Hello everyone, don't mind my messy hair, I haven't brushed it today and we've just been out for a little bit of a walk so that we could get some fresh air and just chill for a bit but while Dexter's napping I thought I would just come on here and give you a few little moving updates well to be honest there's only really one moving update but I thought I would just come on here and record this little video to let you know what's going on and why we are still stuck in the flat <laughs> for some reason my camera my viewfinder keeps putting me upside down and i'm pretty sure it's because i dropped the camera and now it just won't stay like the right way round. so i can't tell when i'm looking at myself on the viewfinder whether i'm like in focus or in frame and stuff because I'm upside down so it's like really hard to vlog but anyway so all of our searches and everything came back we got sent the contracts and we have signed and returned these however they're not dated and we haven't exchanged yet because we are currently waiting on the buyer's searches to come back for the flat and the last we heard so today is Monday is it Monday? feels like a Sunday because everything's so quiet. <laughs> Today is Monday the 19th of September and the last we heard was on Friday, just gone. Their searches were due back at the end of the last week so Friday was the day that they were due to come back. So we kind of contacted the solicitor to see if there was any news on their searches coming back, if there's any news on possibly setting a date yet for moving and we've heard nothing basically so on friday she did reply to say that she was going to chase up with their solicitor and just see whereabouts things are that was like friday morning and friday afternoon we never heard anything obviously we don't think we're going to hear anything today unfortunately because today is the queen's funeral and so like everywhere literally everywhere's closed so we've had no contact today but we're hoping like tomorrow or at some point in this week we might have more information about moving and a possible date fingers crossed because now i feel kind of like i'm at a point where i just physically cannot pack anymore like I can, I've got loads of stuff that needs packing but a lot of it is stuff that we need access to so I've kind of come to a halt with packing. My mum is still round, I think she is coming round this Friday but for the next two weeks she won't be round because um, she's just taking some holiday so she won't be round to help me for the next two weeks unless obviously we end up moving then sh they are going to come around and help us with regards to packing we've kind of come to a standstill because like a lot of the stuff we need we need out or there probably is stuff that i can pack but i just cannot think like i feel like i've hit a brick wall with it all and the same with decluttering so um i am still decluttering i'm going to still be decluttering on the other end when we move because there is just stuff that I just can't decide if I need it or want it at the moment and obviously if you've been here for a while and you've been watching my videos you'll know that I do struggle to declutter. I am quite the hoarder and it's something that I am really working on because I would like to become more minimalist, a lot more minimalist so I am still going to be working on that at the other end but currently we've just kind of hit a standstill and I've kind of had to take a step back a little bit because I've just been feeling super stressed with it all and my chronic illness has been flaring and obviously we went to the folk festival like a couple of weeks ago. When was the folk festival? Yeah, it was like, it was just over a week ago so it was not this Saturday just gone but the Saturday before and the whole of this week I have just rested as much as I could possibly rest. Ben's been off work and we've gone out for like a few little walks just to get some fresh air and try to take ourselves away from the stress of moving basically. We're just trying to take some time for ourselves mainly because we still don't have a date and it could be any time now but I'm just struggling with the whole packing 
thing now because like a lot of the stuff we need to keep out. In one of my previous videos I mentioned about the documentary The Minimalists and how one of the guys, I can't remember which one it was, but one of the guys in that documentary, he packed his entire household into boxes and left them in a room and just unpacked what he needed when he needed them and then everything else after a few months or a month or a period of time anyway he got rid of everything that was left over in the boxes and that is how he became a minimalist and so I said that I was going to try and do that when we move I was going to try and leave things in the boxes and only unpack what we need but realistically, um, because it is so close to Christmas and I really just do not want boxes everywhere by Christmas, I'm going to have to unpack things, but I am going to be decluttering as I go along. So I am going to do my best to like only unpack and keep the things that we need. We're thinking of leaving our kitchen the same way that it is now. We've only got out what we need and we're thinking of keeping it that way in the kitchen when we move because we're actually coping okay with having less stuff in the kitchen and our new kitchen doesn't have as much um, cupboard space so we're thinking of leaving the kitchen the way that it is now and I might put like instead of just like getting rid of the plate i may get rid of them the ones that i've packed or i may put them in the attic as spares for if we ever have guests round because otherwise no one's gonna have any plates to eat off because we literally have only got plates for ourselves but realistically i am gonna have to unpack the boxes at the other end again it's going to take me quite some time because of my chronic illness it's not going to be something that i can just do in a day or a week it's going to take me several weeks as it is to unpack and just get settled and find a place to put everything and to declutter and stuff so so like by the first of december i'm hoping that the majority of the boxes will be unpacked and stuff that i need to get rid of is gone so that we can just get the christmas decorations out and decorate and feel like we're settled in because i really just do not want stuff everywhere by then so i'm trying to set myself a target and attempt to stick by it but we all know how difficult it is to stick by targets and goals when you've got a chronic illness so hopefully I will be able to but who knows we'll just see how it goes I'm not going to put any pressure on myself but I am hopeful that it will be done by December but it all depends on when we get to move I'm hoping that we get to move by the end of this month if not the first week of October because I would like to have enough time to like get everything sorted and I am kind of freaking out a little bit about that because I just feel stressed and I just want to get in there and get settled basically and get things sorted because like now we just kind of have boxes everywhere and we have stuff everywhere still as well i just want to feel like my home is a home basically and i just can't like i can't even feel settled here anymore because i know that we're moving at some point soon <coughs> and it's just it's stressful not having a date and not knowing when we're going to move so I had to unpack some of my winter clothes the other day because the temperatures have now dropped slightly in the UK like some days it has been freezing and other days it's been like 18 degrees like today it's around 18 degrees so it's not too cold but because the temperatures have dropped it is chilly and it's chilly in the flat we don't really want to put the heating on yet so i did have to undo my box of clothes that i had already packed because it's chilly and i needed some long sleeve t-shirts and some nice cozy pajamas and things so that's kind of annoying because I did think that we would be moved by the end of august and obviously we're still stuck here so yes i did have to unpack my clothes so i'm 
probably gonna start packing some of the stuff yes so hopefully i will see you very soon in my next video i've got no videos <laughs> i've got no videos because the last week i have just been trying to rest as much as possible and be with dexter because he is teething extremely badly he has now got his so his bottom molars have come through but he's got his top ones cutting currently and he's also got a little cold that he has picked up he started swimming lessons so we've been going and watching him swim and it's just been really nice because he had his third lesson yesterday and he actually finally got in the pool properly in the pool he's been like in the pool but staying by the steps and yesterday he got properly in the pool and he really enjoyed himself and it was just so lovely to see so we've just kind of had this week to spend as family and de-stress a little bit and just rest as much as i possibly can because i know that moving day and the lead up to actually moving when we get a date and stuff is going to be extremely stressful and it's going to take a massive toll on me i've been feeling really stressed lately and it ha it is really affecting my health so i'm just trying to take a little bit of time for me i'm hoping to record at some point this week because like i said i've got no videos now i had like a whole backlog of videos and i edited them and got them all out and now i've got nothing so but I will be back and I am going to try and record this week. I'm sure I can find something that needs doing or packing or whatever. And there will be more updates hopefully this week anyway to give to you. So it's also Ben's birthday this week on Thursday. And we'll be going out for like a family meal. But I don't think I'm going to record that or anything. We're not really doing anything else on Ben's birthday are we? Are we just going out for a meal? Yeah. I'm not even sure if I'll have my car back by then because it's going in to the garage to have its MOT tomorrow. So I'm hoping <clears throat> that it passes and everything's okay. Oh, it's him drilling. <laughs> the, uh, the guy downstairs is doing some DIY. Oh, no, no, no. Oh my god, it is going to wake him up. He's going to be scared. It's a good job he's asleep because he gets really scared of... So, the guy downstairs has been doing DIY for the past two days. And every time Dexter hears the drill or, like, a little sound on the ceiling, whatever he's doing down there, he, like, is covering his ears. And it's really sad. But, like, we've tried to explain to him that it's okay and stuff. But he's just he's definitely got some sensory issues surrounding sound and um it does concern me but like i've mentioned it to health visitors and doctors and things and nobody will listen to me and so we're just kind of trying to deal with that at home in a sense and like he's okay but he just gets a little bit scared of like certain sounds and things but anyway I'm gonna go and stop rambling on now before he starts drilling again because you guys don't want to listen to that and I will see you in my next video thank you for sticking around and being patient with me and I can't wait to take you to our new house and actually do a house tour as I've said in the previous video I don't know if it will be an empty house tour or not because obviously um, things are just a little bit hectic but there will be a house tour there just might be boxes everywhere. So I'm going to go now and rest while Dexter is napping because he can only have an hour today because he's having a really late nap. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for being here. Bye!